this algebra nation video will cover workbook page 111. Here we're going to multiply, which really we're going to distribute. And the main rule that you need to know is when multiplying, you need to multiply the coefficients, that's the numbers, and add the exponents. So in this case, we have 6c, a monomial, times 4c cubed minus 8c squared plus 5c, and be called a trinomial three terms. We're going to distribute, multiply 6c times each term in the parentheses. And again, multiply the coefficients, that's the numbers in front, and add the exponents, that would be the powers. 6c times 4c cubed. 6 times 4 is 24. And remember, that's c to the first power. 1 plus 3 will give you c to the fourth power. Next, 6 times negative 8. 6 times negative 8 is negative 48. c to the first times c squared, 1 plus 2, will give you c to the third power. Lastly, 6 times 5 will give you 30. And c times c, that would be c to the first and c to the first, 1 plus 1 will give you c squared. And that's how you multiply, or rather, in this case, we're really distributing. But distribute means multiply. Let's do it again. In this next one, we're going to do negative 6, h to the third power, and multiply to each term in the parentheses. And again, multiply the coefficients, add the exponents. Negative 6 times 6 will give you negative 36, h to the third times h to the fourth, h to the power of 3, h to the power of 4, add together, give you h to the 7th power. Negative 6 times negative 3, negative times negative is positive, 6 times 3 is 18. Multiply the coefficients, now let's add the exponents, that will give you h to the 5, 3 plus 2 is 5. Negative 6 times positive 8 is negative 48, and 3 plus, remember, there's a 1 there. It's h to the first power. 3 plus 1 will give you h to the fourth. So again, we're just multiplying here. Multiply the coefficients, add the exponents. I want you to try two. So get ready. Let's go ahead and pause that video and give these two a try. Pause now. Here we're going to multiply 4d squared to each term. 4 times 7 is 28, and then 2 plus 4 will give you d to the 6. 4 times 3 is positive 12, 2 plus 2 will give you 4. Multiply the coefficients, add the exponents. 4 times 7 is 28, and in this case, it's just multiplied by d squared. Nothing else to combine on that last term. Just write it down. For this next one, ooh, I put the monomial at the very end. So I would multiply negative 4x squared to each term in the parentheses that has more terms here. That's how I would work this one out. Multiply the coefficients, add the exponents. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. 2 plus 2 will give you x to the 4th. Negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. 2 plus 1 will give you x to the third. Negative times a negative is positive. Negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24, and that will be just x squared. So in this case, we had again one term, a monomial, times another term in parentheses. But what's going to happen when we have more in each set? Again. We have more in each set. Like, for example, if I gave you guys, oh, I don't know, something like 2 plus 3 equals 4 plus 5. So we're going to learn this method in just a minute. FOIL, but 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. And 5 times 9 is 45. Or you could go ahead and multiply 2 times each term in the other set of parentheses and then 3 times each term the other set of parentheses. Watch this. I will do 2 times 4 will give me 8. 2 times 5 will give me 10. 
3 times 4 will give me 12, and 3 times 5 will give me 15. So if I add that all together, let's see, 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 15, I still get 45. Wow, I still get 45. Of course, I'm sure you're thinking, I, I would never do that for this. I would just do 5 times 9 is 45, which is great. But what if you get this? 3n minus 2 are not like terms. You can't combine them. So in this case, we're going to distribute twice, which we call FOIL. We're going to take 3n and multiply to each term in the other set of parentheses, and then negative 2 and multiply by each term in the other set of parentheses. This is what they call first, because it's the first of each term. 3n times 2n, 3 times 2 is 6, n times n would be n squared. The outer are the outer numbers or the outer terms. 3n times 5 would be 15n. Inner, negative 2 times 2n is negative 4n. And last, the last of each of the parentheses, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Am I done? No. I've got to combine like terms now. 15n minus 4n will give you 11n. And your answer would be 6n squared plus 11n minus 10. That is how you go ahead and multiply a binomial times a binomial. Two terms times two terms, we call it FOIL. So let's look at that again. We have 3n minus 2 times 2n plus 5, and we're going to do FOIL. So f is the first. 3n times 2n gives you 6n squared. The outer, 3n times 5, will give you 15n. The inner, negative 2 times 2n, will give you negative 4n. And the last, negative 2 times 5, whoop, will give you negative 10. But remember, we've got to go ahead after the FOIL and combine like terms, giving you 6n squared plus 11n minus 10, as you see right there. So let's do it again. Ready? Let's FOIL again. FOIL, two terms times two terms. Binomial, binomial. I like to draw the arrows. I draw an arrow to each term from the first to the second set of parentheses, and then again from the first to the second to see the FOIL. First, 6a times 2a squared. 6 times 2 is 12. a to the first times a squared will be a cubed. Remember, multiply the coefficients, add the exponents. Outer, 6a times 5 will be 30a. Inner, negative 8 times 2 will be negative 16, a squared. And last, negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. There's nothing to combine here. There's no like terms, but you'll see that they want to write this in what's called descending order, from highest power to lowest power. So the proper way to write this would be 12a to the third minus 16a squared plus 30a minus 40 from highest power to smallest power. So that's FOIL. You got it? I think you do. Let's go ahead, pause the video again, give this one a try. Pause now. Here we go. I'm going to distribute twice, which we call FOIL. The first, 2 times f is 2f. The outer, 2 times 8, is 16. The inner, negative 8f squared times f, that would just be negative 8 to the d times 1, if anything. f squared times f is f cubed. And last, negative 8 times 8 is negative 64, f squared. From highest power to lowest power, that'd be negative 8f cubed minus 64f squared plus 2f plus 16. Remember, you can always pause the video, go back, watch it again. If you have any questions, post on the wall, because all we're doing here is multiplying. We're multiplying different terms.